A fresh coat of latex paint is a surefire way to spruce up a home. Latex is a term for acrylic or vinyl resins. Latex paint is water-based, so it has less odor than alkyd paint. It also cleans up without any harsh solvents. All you need is soap and water. The paint factory produces an uncolored base. The store then tints that base to the color ordered by the customer. Latex paint contains water, latex for adhesion, titanium dioxide, calcium carbonate, potassium, zinc for mildew resistance, and whatever additives the particular type of paint requires. For example, if it's paint designed for metal, a rust inhibitor. They pump the water into a large mixing tank. Then they add a thickening agent and stabilizer to prevent the ingredients from settling to the bottom of the tank and to the bottom of the can once the paint is packaged. A vacuum duct sucks up the waste. One at a time, all the ingredients except the latex go in. There's a specific mixing time after each ingredient because proper blending is critical for quality. Now they pump the tank's contents into another mixing tank that contains the latex. After four to six hours of blending, the industrial size batch of paint base is finally ready. The factory subjects a sample from every batch to extensive quality control testing. This viscometer measures the thickness of the paint. This test assesses how well the dry ingredients have dispersed within the mix. This tells them whether the mix is blended well enough to move into the second tank containing the latex. Technicians also conduct color tests, adding recipes of liquid colorants to a gallon sample. This is to ensure the shade comes out exactly the way it's supposed to. To check if the paint covers well, they brush it onto test paper. The stripes provide a contrast so that any defects in the paint, such as foam or grit, will show. This test evaluates tint strength. Once the paint sample dries, they analyze its color properties with a machine called a spectrophotometer. Once the batch passes inspection, it proceeds to packaging. Latex paint contains about 60% water, which corrodes metal, so the steel cans are lined with an anti-rust coating. The cans run over a glue applicator then over a label, which instantly sticks to the adhesive. The next stop is a filling machine. Each can sits on a scale that's positioned under a dispensing nozzle. Once the scale detects the correct net weight, it triggers the nozzle to stop. From the filling machine to a lid dispenser that drops a cover onto each can. Then it's onto what's called a lid press. As each can passes underneath, a roll of cylinders gradually presses in the lid. The next machine, called a baler, attaches a curved handle made of steel wire. It locks the handle ends into metal discs on both sides of the can. The factory varies its formulations to produce paint in lusters ranging from flat to high gloss and for interior and exterior use, making sure it's got every possible application covered.